Okay, today we're going to start with um, a short lesson on how to install Ethereum. More specifically, we're going to install Geth, which is the Go implementation of Ethereum. Uh, first thing we're going to do is download the latest version of Geth. Uh, so we're going to say, we're we'll just do a little search for Ethereum Geth. I see a link come up uh, for the releases for the Go Ethereum implementation. Scroll down a little bit, and here, sure enough, is our version that we're looking for. Um, we'll download that. It shouldn't take very long. We'll open that up. And you can see I've downloaded it several times here. But what we're after is this file called Geth, G-E-T-H. And we want to, what we want to do is copy that into the appropriate place in our path so we can just use it when we're ready. If I, I'm going to copy this into uh, U user, USR, local bin. I'm going to paste that in here. And you can see I've already got one in there, so I'll replace that one. And so um, now uh, we can kind of say which geth and let's see what it's looking at. So sure enough, uh, user local bin geth is where we where our operating system is finding uh, geth. Um, we can try a geth version and you can see that we're on the 1.4.18 stable. Uh, everything looks good. Now um, what we're going to do is we want to start geth and what geth will do we're going to start Geth so it'll download the blockchain to our computer. We're going to set up the test net on this computer so that we can um, have some other lessons and, and do some uh, examples and not at, at, with low risk. And so we're going to use the test net, otherwise known as Morden. So um, what we can do is uh, just type Geth. Geth has several command lines, uh, uh, parameters. We're going to use um, dash dash test net because we want the test net, not the live net. And we're also going to use dash fast. And so um, the reason we're going to use fast is that the geth uh, blockchain is rather large. It's, it's many gigabytes. And it can take a long time to download. If we use dash dash fast, then it will come much quicker. And so let's go ahead and I'm going to hit enter on this and kind of watch what happens here. <clears throat> um, this can take several hours to download the blockchain even with the dash fast and so um, you'll see that it will kind of it, it'll kind of get stuck here for a while basically what's happening is Geth is going out and trying to find some peers that are on the testnet and once it finds those peers it'll begin to ask those peers for blocks and those peers will send the blocks until we have the full blockchain and so um, what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to go through one more thing here, and then we're going to kind of just pause, and we'll come back after the blockchain has been uh, completely downloaded. Um, to Let's do this. Let's open up another terminal. And um, we'll do an, uh, let's find out what Geth is actually doing. Where is it putting all this data, is the question. And um, if you change, the, if you go, to the library folder. I'm on a, on a, a Macintosh right now. If I go to library, what you'll see is there's a Ethereum folder here that was just just added there. And we'll say change it to Ethereum. And so now you can see there's this testnet. When I typed geth dash dash testnet dash dash fast, it created these folders. And if I say cd testnet, you can see that um, there's a chain data folder, a dap folder, a geth.ipc, node key, and nodes. Okay, and in fact, if I if I minimize this, you can see that sure enough, I've connected to some peers, and um, I am downloading the the blockchain is coming now. Um, one of the things that, that I like to do is we'll go to a block explorer. So let's just do this. Um, Ethereum. Morden Explorer. We'll just kind of go we'll do a little search, and we'll say here's a testnet.etherscan.io. It's a it's a blockchain explorer, and what we want to do is we can see the block height is 
is 1,785,707 blocks, okay? So all those blocks, I gotta download all those blocks. And so um, you can see that right now, you can kind of look at some of the data flying by here. I, I'm importing some, uh, let's see if I can see where it says. So I'm at 70, I'm at 80,000 blocks. So you can see how long ways to go, okay? I'm at 80,000 blocks and the block height is at uh, 1,785,000. So we're gonna stop here for now and let this go. Um, let's just look at one more thing here. Um, let's see if we can um, get rid of here. Oh, it's okay. Okay, what we'll do is we'll go and um, let me try to find my other. Here we go. Um, let's do a du <coughs> um, sh 72 meg, and you can see this is going to grow. 57. 63, that's interesting how that is. You can own a test net. You kind of explore these, um, these this data. You can see it's growing. Oops. Chain data. Yeah, see this is a, a database that's being built. Um, and what you'll find is these files will get bigger and bigger. And it'll end up being gigabytes of data on your computer. So you want to make sure you have plenty of room on the place where on the computer where you're going to store the blockchain. All right, so we're going to stop for now. Um, we will look at, uh, you can see now we're at uh, 212,000. So it's moving pretty fast. Um, but we'll stop here, and we'll, we'll come back and uh, do some more interesting things with uh, Geth.